Hello and welcome to the Caden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. Joining me right here today is the Wong Quadruplets. Hi everyone, how are you? Hi, uh, we're doing great. That's good to hear. So why don't we start by kind of going around and uh, introducing everyone. Okay. Hi, my name is Venice. I'm Alexander. I'm Harrison. And I'm Mason. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, what made you guys want to start doing music? Well, basically, we started doing it for fun, and then, like, while well, we can first up, we started playing it all individually, okay. but then we all got the thought of playing together as a band, so that's what we did. And then we played our first song, Faded by Alan Walker, and then we performed it in front of our family, and it went pretty well, so we decided to start performing live, like, where our dad and works. we started performing at, like, different places, like farmer's markets, um, fundraisers. And yeah. What is it that you all enjoy about music? We'll start with Venice. What I enjoy about music is that um, there's like different types of music. So there's music for everybody. There's music for people that love rock and pop. And me and my brothers, we play rock and pop too. So that's, we really love to play music. I love to play music because it calms me down. I have, sometimes I have anger issues because <laughs> like mm. yeah because like but i have three brothers and yeah. now i have anger issues with them so we fight a lot so okay so why i love music is because it just pumps me up my favorite kind of genre is funk pop and edm and since i'm a drummer i really love listening to the beat it just gets me hype and pumped and it really helps to get through a lot of tough times if i'm busy or stressed and I listen to a lot of music if I'm studying or doing homework. He listens to music 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I like about music is that, uh, well, most of the time, I, like, I listen to EDM, uh, pop, and I just, the reason why I like music is because I just have to sometimes vibe with it most of the time, and I really enjoy it. Uh, I really enjoy it. Along with playing the piano, I, uh, that's my favorite instrument, and that's the reason why I the reason why I chose it is because it out of that of the other four instruments, my brother plays the guitar, but I found that a bit difficult for me. My brother plays the drums, but my other brother Mason he plays the drums, but it's a bit too loud for me to practice with, and like I just music. don't find myself singing anytime soon. So I stuck with piano. Why I like music is that well. I like listening to music because, like, I get to listen to rock hard music, sometimes some country songs. <laughs> <laughs> I like listening to Street Child of Mine, some other rock songs that just guitar fit all the way. It really helps me a lot, and it helps me with my homework sometimes. I, I get really pumped up, man, and that's why. They also do composing and arranging classes, so it really helps them. Yeah, composing music is great. Absolutely. And I know um, that Hummingbird, which is uh, your upcoming one, was just released to radio for me. Um, and also, uh, why don't you take a moment to kind of tell me a little bit about that song for those who have not heard it yet? Well, something about the song is that it's about like being free and living your life how you want to. And like, like you can be stuck in like you can be stuck somewhere. And you just want to be free, fly free. Yeah. And like a do, yeah. <laughs> and basically be who you want to be. And um, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. And doing what you love to do. So that's like just being free. Yeah. Hey. What did <laughs> What advice would you guys give somebody to those who might want to start doing music, whether they're performing or being in the industry? Okay, an advice I would give is it doesn't matter about how long you practice, all right? I'm like, sure, you have to practice, but make sure you're actually focused on what you're doing because you don't want like two hours straight of practicing, right? But you're being distracted by like your phone, just looking up things, and you don't really get to learn that much. You don't you don't get that much done, and you just wasted your time in the past two hours. So it would be better to have like forty five minutes of 
full concentration on something rather than just two hours of distraction that wouldn't get you anywhere also right. you have to work really hard even though like you're working on something but you have to work hard on it and on music like there's a lot to it but also music is like also at the same time you should also have fun so yeah but along with practicing like what Macy said uh it doesn't sometimes when you're playing with a band or your group mates it sometimes doesn't matter if you practice all alone by yourself if you if your other group mates were to be bad at playing their instrument then it would be no point to practice all alone playing that one specific song it wouldn't sound good without having the whole band playing it good when one of them is just doing it right and the other is just doing it wrong so you guys gotta like work together figure out what's wrong well that can really be a struggle for bands because we're siblings and we fight a lot <laughs> then when that happens a lot of chaos happens yeah the most, really the most important thing is that you have to practice, 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 practice. and and work really hard. And also, you must always have fun. With concentration mm -hmm. and be focused. Yeah. Where do you guys see your band in the next couple of years, or where do you want to be? Um. Well, in the next couple of years, I maybe we want to be like somewhere near Disney World. Okay, okay. So I see ourselves in a big stage, all right? <laughs> big stage performing with like a lot of people watching, like a lot. And then we're out there walking out and jamming. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I have that drum solo. I'm just, I'm, me and Alexander are just like rocking it out. When Alexander's solo hits, he starts playing. Oh, the yeah. Song, right? And he can actually play the guitar and do a solo with his, um, Playing, how do I explain it? Hands behind his back, and he just plays without even <laughs> And then the crowd just goes wild. So whenever yeah. he does that, it's like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I see. It'd be fun. <laughs> now, if someone was to write a song about the band, what do you think that they take the time to write about? Mm. What? I know a hard one. <laughs> time to write about is how um music can do a lot and how it like puts people together and um uh, how much fun it could be when you do what you love and yeah that was a hard one yeah that was <laughs> what is one message that you would like to give to your fans or anyone that might be uh, listening to this all right so a message I would like to give to you all is to always stick on what you're doing. Be passionate on what you want to do, all right? Decide if you really want to do what you're actually doing, all right? And just go with the flow. Don't stop, all right? Don't you stop got this. believing. <laughs> right song for that, right on. <laughs> Now, if people want to learn more about you guys, where can they go to find you? You guys can go find us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. The Long Quadruplets. And YouTube. And YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and um, can they find you on any of the streaming services? Yes, um, they can. Yeah. Find us here. Okay, your um, summertime on uh, any music platforms. Oh, yeah, platform. you guys can, yeah, you guys can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, any music platforms, right. <laughs> so what do you guys like doing outside of music? Do you have any hobbies, interests, anything like that? Okay, so what I love to do, I, other than like music and stuff, I love music, but I also love to do, I, I love to act, I love to do theater, and I love to hang out with my friends and hang out with my brothers. Me and my brother Mason like to do chess. We love chess. Yep, chess. This, yeah. This yep. morning, I beat Alexander so bad in chess. Bruh. I got a free queen. Yep, you did. Yeah, chess is amazing. Um, other hobbies I have, drums. I also play other instruments like guitar and piano. 
One day, I want to learn how to play ukulele and violin. Um, I also know how to use the DAW. I use Logic Pro X. Um, what else? Uh, I know how to use the skateboard. Uh, we play basketball. Me, Harrison, Alexander. Quite fun. fun. Uh, we used to be in the league, basketball league, until COVID hit. We just stopped. Mm-hmm. But we still play for fun. And video games. Uh, Elden Ring, uh, Call of Duty Modern, Modern Warfare 2. And yeah. Also, we um we compose music. Yeah. They like to compose and arrange music. Yeah. Well, what I like to do, other than just playing the piano, is that I really love reading. And I would <laughs> stick in the room just reading most of the day. Uh, and I play basketball with my brothers, like what Mason said. And yeah, I think that's all you need to know for what I do as a hobby. And what I like to do is that, like, sometimes I like to play video games and I like to play chess with my brother Mason. He always beats me. And basically, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I know you guys act too. And I know that you guys have been in a few different things. You want to tell everyone a little bit about what you've been in? Sure. Okay. So, first off, we've been on the show Kids Say the Darnest Things. If you've heard that, that's the first one we've ever like booked and we were and we got to play our song summertime on there and it was we were like 10 years old i think so yeah it was a real good experience we got to meet tiffany haddish and the company itself was pretty nice and so was its members it was a pretty great experience also we were on the price is right oh Oh. yeah that was and our whole family got to be on it like our mom, our dad, and us. Oh. So that, um, for acting, the boys have done, we've done, all of us have actually done Darman together. Darman. I don't know if that. We um three of my yes. brothers did one a few days ago. And you mean it was a few, like, like was they, it some two they months did, ago? They did Dar- they did Darman. They were playing basketball. So I thought that was cool. It's coming out soon. We it's did not out a few yet. Darmans, like me and my brothers t- together, and some of like me and Alexander, me and Harrison. Um, for me, I've done like yesterday. I was I was I I was filming a short film, and we're still working on that. And a few days ago, um, I was doing a Skechers photo shoot. So we've done we've done a lot, quite a lot, the last few years. That's awesome. That it really is. Well, is there anything that I forgot to mention that you guys would like to mention today? Oh, we're going to be performing um, our last Lunar Festival um, in East Vale on February 19th. So you guys can watch us there. And our music video about Hummingbird, right? Uh, It's going to be released uh, probably somewhere in spring. So stay tuned. And that's it. I would like to thank the Juan Quap Druplets for coming on the Caden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. It was awesome chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great rest of your day.